right now this is the most important thing that you need in your product page it's literally a must if you want to be successful at drop shipping hey guys what's up in this video we're going to be going over the step by step on how i build my product pages after my last video a lot of people reached out and i saw that most of you guys had problems when it came to your website or building your product pages and that's why i'm here today to show you guys my step by step on how i build my product pages because after you have a like successful store it's basically just a copy and paste every time you test out products. I'm also doing this because I know that most people give up when it comes to building their website just because they don't know what they're doing. And I've been there, I've done that, and I don't want you to get discouraged when it comes to building a website. So I really do hope you guys get some value from the video and apply this to your store because this is literally a template that I use for every store and every product I build. And trust me, building your product page is not that complicated. It's not a monster with like seven heads, trust me. There's just some things that you need to have on your website to give your store more credibility, more trust for people to buy from. Because you need to understand that people probably never heard of your brand. Unless you're like a well-established brand, they have never heard of you. So how are they going to trust from like buying something from a random website. And I also wanna thank you guys so much for all the support you guys are giving me, subscribing to the channel, leaving a like. A lot of people reached out to me saying that they really liked the video and they got value from it. And that does mean a lot to me because that's literally the reason why I'm making these videos. That's why I sit down here and like literally talk to the camera for literally hours because I'm so bad at making YouTube videos you guys don't even know. So yeah guys, I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, subscribe, leave a like if you do like this video and also like i say in every video my instagram will always be in the description um if you guys have any questions need a review or feedback i'll be there to help you guys i'm more active there so it's easier for you guys to get in contact with me also some people were commenting on my videos saying that i don't show my shopify um dashboard i didn't really think i needed to do that just because i'm not trying to be those gurus that basically wins you with the amount of money that they have made but that's okay i do understand you guys because with e-com it's kind of hard to trust people and what they're saying so i do have my shopify dashboard right here and i'm, I'm gonna refresh the page so you guys can see i'm not lying there you go right here this is a store that i have been scaling for the past i believe it has been like six months already um actually let's do this let's do um the last 90 days with this store we were able to make two hundred fifty four thousand dollars in revenue again guys this is not what i'm taking home so don't be like oh my god he's making so much money he's rich this is not what i take home guys but um it's a nice amount of revenue and again not doing this to flex i didn't even think i needed to do this i didn't want to be those kind of youtubers that just wins you with how much money they have made um but I guess you guys were questioning the things I was teaching and like saying that it was bullshit and everything. So I just wanted to come in here and show you guys that, I mean, what I'm doing is working. So I'm that's why I'm doing this type of videos. You're gonna follow if you want. If you don't, go to the next video and do that. Also for this video, I will be using the Shrine theme to build our product page just because I think it's the one of the greatest investment um, you can do when drop shipping. Just because of how good it looks. Like if you have the Shrine theme, like there's no way you can make a bad looking website. I did email them before recording this video just because I really wanted to give you guys a discount so you don't have to pay the full price for the theme. But they haven't responded to my email yet, so I don't know if I did or if I didn't get the discount. But if I don't, if they don't give me the discount, I'll try to find it somewhere else and put it in the description. So check the description. But if you're just not ready yet or don't have the money to invest in the Shrine theme, what you guys can be doing is using the app Gem Pages on Shopify apps. Because before getting the Shrine theme, that's the app I use to literally build all my product pages. And that's actually the app that I used to build a product page that I was able to scale the store that I just showed you guys. And I believe it's for free. So it's definitely possible to copy everything that I'm going to be showing you guys here into gem pages. It's just going to be a little harder. All right, but now let's get started with this video. All right, guys. So I do have my computer right here in front of me so we can build this product page together. Um, the product I chose is just a digital frame where um, people can just display whatever video they want um, on the little frame. I just picked a random product just so you guys can see how this literally works for every product. You just have to like kind of adjust to um, each product. So it's, if it's a beauty niche or if it's a car niche, it just like adjusts to whatever your product is. All right, first thing you have to do, um, put your logo at the top. Um, that's obviously not my logo, but it's a reminder for you guys to subscribe. 
The next thing I do in literally every store is basically just put an announcement bar just because it catches the attention and you can literally put anything. Because we're using Shrine, um, you're just going to go here to add section and there's going to be this option right here for the horizontal ticker. It's basically an announcement bar that like literally moves so it catches people's attention. Most people, when they first get your website, the first thing they're gonna see will be this announcement bar just because it moves and like it catches the attention. So you can literally put whatever you want. I always put my offer just to get that extra push for customers to buy. So let's do, um, let me see. I literally just put one. So I'm gonna delete those. And then right here, I'm gonna write, um, let's say 70% off and today you can do that or you can literally put um use code uh, i'm so bad at typing oh my god all right there you go use code new year for 10 percent off and like i said in the beginning basically just adjust whatever you're doing for your store so if you're giving something away be like oh with every order you get this for free um, so just use the announcement bar to your advantage. One thing I forgot to mention is that I usually put this with the bold text option on just because I think it looks better. That's literally the only reason really. Um, so yeah, scrolling down, now it's time for your pictures. I said this in my last video, but your product pictures are super, super important just because it's literally what people see when they look at your website. So make sure you're getting good quality pictures. I'm not even gonna stress about getting quality pictures for this product just because I'm not gonna run this product. I'm literally just showing you guys how I would build a product page for this product. I probably said product 10 times in literally five seconds right now. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not gonna run this product, so I'm not really worried about that, but you guys should be. Um, always make sure you have good quality pictures on your website. And scrolling down, you're gonna see the title, the price. This is basically just default, really. And now it's where we're gonna start to add things to this product page. The first thing I want you guys to do below the price, you're gonna add three key benefits about your product. So why is it a must? Why do customers need Need it. why should they buy from your store all right so for that you're gonna go to here add block and then right here emoji benefit once you click that to your right you're just gonna put whatever benefit um your product has and why should customers buy it also make sure you change the emojis just so it's like it relates to what you're saying so trust me you don't want like let's say you're selling a lipstick you don't want a little arm emoji there because it has nothing to do with what you're selling so just make sure you um change the emoji change the benefits i'm gonna think about benefits about this product and then i'm gonna come back all right guys i'm back done with the benefits i literally just put whatever came to mind but like i said take your time think about what makes people really want to buy it and why it's a necessity rather than just stating the features of the product that's what you should focus on on the three key benefits right under the price all right guys now that we have our benefits the next thing i want you guys to do it's actually from an app called the hey merch counter basically all it does is just put the almost sold out um little thing right here you could write a text but i don't know i just like the app better because there's a lot of options oh and i'm so sorry guys if you guys are hearing any background noise i literally don't know what's going on today there's like dogs barking they're literally taking out the trash right now there's like construction over here so everything is all over the place today but i just wanted to record this video Video because I feel like it could help a lot of you guys and you guys ask for it so I'm here recording the video All right now what you're gonna do is add block again and then pick quantity selector and turn off the I mean turn on the enable uh, quantity discounts if this is just gonna give you that um, bundle and save option that you usually have to download an app for this but this is already included in the shrine theme. That's also why I really like the shrine theme because it's just worth it. If, because if you're gonna pay subscriptions to have bundles in your store, like it doesn't really make sense in the long run. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's a nice thing to have in the shrine theme. Um, for the heading, I don't put anything right here. So I delete that and I'm just gonna put two options. Um, the first option being just to buy one and then the second option is to buy two and since i only need two of them i'm already gonna basically delete this and this all right and there you go now they have two options and what i usually do is basically just apply a 15 percent discount on the second option so um right here you're gonna put a percentage and then you're gonna put 15 
just so it gives that person a 15% discount. And you can mess around with this a lot. You can actually add a bunch of stuff. So like most popular, let's put in the option, the second option, just so um, people think that a lot of people buy two and they're getting a really good deal. All right, for the option one, let's just put the benefit like plus free shipping there you go you can mess around with things like that you know yeah guys i don't want to spend too much time on this you can mess around and like see what works best what looks good and what doesn't um but in order for this to work you do have to add an add to cart button so you're just gonna go ad block and then the buy buttons and then you add your add to cart so yeah guys so far so good we have our little um announcement bar good quality pictures the title the price benefits um the almost sold out announcement right here and our buying options All right and now you're gonna add another block and then get reviews this is another really good thing that the shrine theme uh, provides you can basically add a review under the add to cart because if people are not scrolling all the way down they can immediately see like on the at the top of your page reviews that customers left so just put whatever um review you want here let me where do I add this? Okay, right here. So let's just put um, whatever the name, um, Lucas. Um, he's saying that I love this product. And if you want, you can also add a picture. So it gives a little bit more credibility to the store because it's like a real person um, leaving that review. So you can do that. All right, so I did just Google a picture of a random person. I am going to change the name, though, because it is a woman. So let's just put um, Anna. There you go, Anna. Love the product. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that you can add multiple reviews. So let's say now it's time for Lucas. He's just going to share whatever he wants. And then it's just going to play right here. You know, um, different reviews if you can want put more than one all right guys it's looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie this is a really nice start that we have here and now what i want you guys to do is add another section and then search for rich text this is basically just we have a title so you're gonna basically delete the buttons this and then what we're gonna use is basically just the heading and what i like to write on this headline is basically what makes us different so why again why should they buy from our store rather than amazon or any other competitor all right so let me just write that what makes us different there you go what makes us different and instead of us i usually put either the product name or your store name so if you're um let's put subscribe in this case what makes subscribe different and the reason why i do that is because when people read that they will basically know that your store is the best option and they probably won't even do their research to buy somewhere else or check the prices somewhere else so yeah just make sure you adjust whatever um the heading size you want just so it looks nice on your um website i try my best to make sure all the text looks aligned and really good in your website so this is how i like it to be not like this or like this or like this i mean this is good actually but it's just too small um so i'm just gonna put medium and now what i want you guys to put under the what makes us different it's uh, not you add another section and you get like a regular image and you're gonna again that we don't need the um, the text or the button so you're just gonna leave that there and you're gonna select an image of your product all right so i added the picture i do like to add a gif actually what i do recommend you guys doing instead of using an image is to use a gif just because people like to see the product in action i'm gonna put an image just because i don't have that much time right now but i advise you guys to do that um here actually you can just it looks a little weird so i'm just gonna put adjust this and again you adjust this um to your liking i usually don't like to leave a lot of spaces between um everything so just make sure you guys are also paying attention to that okay. right below this picture what we're gonna do is basically just stay what makes us different so you're just gonna go here add section and I believe it's called, let me see. I literally forgot what it's called. All right, I found it. It's see this icon bar. Um, you're just gonna add that and basically just put whatever your benefits are. You're, I'm not gonna put the heading, so I'm gonna go delete that. 
put the top pedaling right here just because it does not look good that far away. And when you do write this, just remember what I said earlier, just make sure your product sounds like it's a necessity that people really need this product from your store and not from somewhere else. Because if you add like five paragraphs of your product and like its features, first of all, people are not gonna read that. And second of all, it looks weird, it looks ugly, like it's overwhelming to see that much text when you're just trying to buy your product. So yeah, just make sure you have, again, just three um, benefits about your product and what makes it different. So I'm just gonna leave this and then think about what makes this product different and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I got. All right guys, so I did just add the heading so you guys have an idea of what I mean and what you guys should be looking for when um, doing your uh, three key benefits. So yeah, guys, nothing crazy, just the headings with the text um, right below. Make sure it's just like a sentence or two nothing crazy and then scrolling down what i want you guys to do is actually add another section of text so let me go back uh, right here rich text and you're gonna delete once again both of these and just um keep the heading and like i said a bunch of times just make sure you adjust this to uh, whatever product you're selling so let's say you do have a really cool feature about your product that you want people to know this is the space where you're gonna use um, to advertise that to your customers. So for me, I'm not really gonna write a feature about the product. I am gonna kind of mess with the emotion side of things. Um, just because if your product links to emotion, it's really easier to sell. So I definitely wanna um, add that to the website. So I'm just gonna write, let's say, um, preserve. All right, that's the thing that came to mind. And also, let me do this again. Just make sure you're um, adjusting the padding just so nothing is like crazy far away from each other. So yeah, there we go. And then below the heading, again, you're just gonna add a picture with um, whatever relates to your headline. All right, guys, I did try to find a gift for this product. I actually found a video and then I converted it to a gift um, on another website just because I didn't want, um, even though I'm not renting this product, I didn't want to just put a bunch of pictures um, and show you guys an example, a wrong example, because I actually do use gifts. So this is where I'm going to use it. So preserve special moments. It's just a gift of two friends uh, preserving a special moment for them. The reason why I chose this headline and the gifts and everything might not make sense to you guys, but I can guarantee you that if someone clicks the ad and they're like, they have a best friend that they haven't seen in a really long time, and they find a way to preserve moments that they had um, that can always remind them about this person, they're definitely gonna take this into consideration because it will affect their emotion. But when building your product page, you always wanna think about this type of stuff, like what can I do that will trigger someone's insecurity problem or like their emotions, their feelings, because that's gonna get them to convert. They're literally taking so long to take out the trash, so I'm just gonna move on and I'm so sorry if you hear any background noises, uh, but I do need to get um, this video done for you guys. So I will, oh yeah, so now I'm just gonna copy this because I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do to give more credibility to the store. This is the picture that I want you guys to add right under um, the GIF or whatever picture you use, um, just so it gives more credibility to your store um, because it's like big, big names like Forbes Insider, uh, people will trust your store more if they think that your store or your product was featured in any of these shows or magazines. A lot of people already use this, but it's just an extra tip that when people see that, they just trust your store and your brand a little bit more. So it's always nice to have that. And then next, right now we have two options that I want you guys to choose from. Not really choose from, you can add both. It's actually good to have both. But for this product, for example, it doesn't really work. You should always have a before and after slide to just show the customer the before and after, just because people like to see the result. Um, people want to see why they're going to benefit from your product, why they should buy it. So having a before and after slide is really important. For this product specifically, it doesn't really make sense to have a before and after just because this product doesn't have a before and after effect. But if you have a product that helps with acne, for instance, you want to add like a picture before using the product and then after so people see the result and you sell the results to that customer. 
but um and then the other option that i was talking about is actually the this it's just a table that shows um why should customers choose you instead of your competitors it's always nice to have again to give a little bit more credibility to your store and also so they don't look any other place to buy this product or they don't do any research but yeah when you click on the table row right here you can just put whatever you want what makes it different your benefits so let's say um featured on forbes there you go there's something unique about your brand so you can literally add anything um, to your advantage, just things that will make that you think that will make people trust your website a little bit more and will buy from your website. So yeah, guys, just make sure you pick um, either one of these to use the before and after or this one, or just use both because it's really nice to have both anyways. But for this product specifically, there's no reason why I should use the before and after just because there isn't one. And to be honest, after you added like key benefits and like quality image, gifts, everything like that, um, basically the, the rest of the page is basically just giving more credibility to your story and your product that you're selling so the thing i want you guys to do is also add another um picture right where is it again oh right here you're gonna add another picture delete this 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 and i want you guys to add a picture like this let me just adapt first image like this i literally basically created this on canva i wrote this on canva took a screenshot and then i added here again only doing this because it gives more credibility to your store seeing that a lot of people have bought um in the past this digital frame and they had really good experience with us so just make sure you have that to give a little bit more trust to your product in your store all right guys i'm back i actually had to stop recording because my phone died but let's get straight to the website and finish because there's just a couple more things that i would add to the website and as i was saying before guys um basically after you have like your good quality picture um the benefits the title um the pictures all looking good most the majority of the website the rest would literally just be you giving um the customers trust to buy from your website so you just need more credibility um to your store so people um, make that purchase and trust your website to make the purchase and now for the last couple of things you actually can just um copy this right here and just add a picture of your product and in my case like i told you guys i really with this product if i was selling it i would be playing a lot with the emotion that it triggers so that's why i would choose this picture right here of like the baby ultrasound just because it's probably a memory that the mother and the parents will like want to have so yeah just make sure you trigger emotion and security problems and you provide them with a solution right away which is your product all right guys we're almost done it's actually looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie and the last thing i want you guys to add is basically the um faq questions and it is kind of important to have a frequently asked questions just because a lot of customers will be um hesitant to buy from your website just because they probably don't know your brand all right so once you add it now it's time to change the heading you're just gonna put faq and then right here you're gonna click right there and then you're just gonna change to whatever question you think people will ask about your product all right guys so i did add a couple of questions that i think people could have about this product all right now this is the most important thing that you need in your product page it's literally a must if you want to be successful at drop shipping and obviously i'm talking about the reviews i don't think you guys realize how important reviews are if you're questioning on why your product's not selling and you don't have reviews, you're literally like, I don't even know what to tell you because the first thing you should be looking at is getting reviews to your website. And I'm gonna tell you this right now from like the experience I have gained throughout these years, most people, I have li literally say more than half, they literally go straight to the reviews to see if this is a good product, if this is a good um, store to buy from, if it's worth it, how was your experience? And that's why it's super, super important to have reviews in your store. Um, get as much as you can. Like I said in my last video, if you can get 100 reviews, get 100 reviews. If you can get 1,000, get 1,000, 5,000, 5,000, because it's just never enough. So how many reviews you find important to your store because it's literally so important. And the app that I use um, to import my reviews are, let me just make sure I do have the right app. It's this one right here, Trusto.io this one right here so you literally just add this 
um and then you're gonna have the reviews um and then yeah guys that's it so like i said i probably said this a bunch of times already but sell the results sell why it's a must why the product's a necessity why the customer needs it rather than its features all right let's say we saw the ad we clicked on the website this is the first thing we see um like i said me personally the first thing i pay attention at it's the announcement bar just because it's the only thing moving um, so that does catch my attention. So I am immediately going to look at the 10% off. Um, so that was my intention on putting it there. So that's really good. Um, and then right here, we have the quality images, um, the picture, everything. We have straight already the benefits um, of this product, why I could potentially want this product. Um, it also shows that it's almost sold out. So it gives that urgency. If that person really wants this product, they're probably gonna buy it immediately just because they don't wanna lose the chance of being sold out. So yeah, if you know how to use it, it's a really nice thing to have because it gives urgency, but just make sure it doesn't look too sketchy um, because if you put that on your website, some things that you put um, can look sketchy and very drop shippy. And again, the reason why I didn't put just like a regular add to cart button is just to give the option of buying one or two um, because if someone is thinking about gifting it to someone else and they were like thinking about getting two, but it was like, oh, nah, too expensive to buy two, but they see a discount, um, they might change their minds and actually buy. Um, here, it will be just a regular um, review. Let me, actually, I think I added a picture. Yeah, I added a picture um, that you can literally display a good review. Don't just put love this product. No, that's not gonna work. Put an actual good review. Um, right here there's then scrolling down what makes us different there's a good quality picture over there three simple key benefits on why um your store is the best to buy from again right here you're gonna trigger their emotions or their insecurity their problem um whatever your product triggers so um and then you add a gift i would recommend either a gift or a picture and then scrolling you'll see those things that i said earlier that just gives credibility to your store if it's their first time scrolling through your store they're gonna see that you were featured on forbes and Sire. they're gonna be like oh okay big brand even though you're not a big brand um so it's a nice thing to have there and then scrolling down pictures faq reviews that's all you need guys like i said it's not it's not that complicated i don't know why people make um building your product page so complicated so in every picture try to add your logo um brand as much as you can in the actual item itself it's actually really nice to have your logo just because people would think that you actually created that product because it has your logo on it even though you're not sending it with the logo you're not even going to notice it to be honest all right, guys, and that's it. That's our product page. I feel like it looks really nice. You can even see that it's very similar to the one in my last video, just because, like I said, you basically most of the time is just copying and pasting it and changing the text, the pictures uh, from every product. But most of them, it's basically all the same, the same pattern. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys got some value from this video. Um, for those who are struggling on what to put and what to not on your product page, how I set up my product page. So um, here you guys go. That's exactly what I do. I'm literally just waiting for a response, but hopefully I'll get that discount for you guys. Um, but if not, like I said, use gem pages because that's the one I used at the beginning. And if you're not ready yet to invest, although I do think there's a big difference um, when just building it, it's way easier. And like you have the prompts already pre-made for you. So it's definitely easier. It definitely will save you some time. But again, if you're not ready yet, just use gem pages that you can literally copy everything there. All right, guys, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it, enjoyed, got some value. That's exactly my intentions with this video. And like I said earlier, my Instagram will always be in the description if you wanna hit me with questions, if you need feedback, or if you just didn't understand something in the video, it's gonna be in the description. You can reach me there and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Also, if I'm not asking too much, please subscribe, leave a like, because again, that just shows me you guys like these type of videos and what I'm doing is actually working. So that does mean a lot. So please make sure you subscribe and leave a like. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.